Hey everyone, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at Bark, which is one of the most popular parental control apps currently out there. So I'll be covering what it is, how it works, all the features it offers, pricing, and my overall verdict on the service. So if you want to know more about Bark and whether it's suitable for your household, this video is definitely for you. Also, if at any point you'd like to give Bark a go, you'll find a useful link as well as a discount in the description down below to help you save some extra money. For starters, parental control apps are software tools that enable you to monitor and control your child's online activity, such as social media, gaming, and internet browsing. They offer a range of features, including content filtering, screen time management, and location tracking to ensure a safer online environment for children. And by using these apps, parents can help protect their children from potential online risks, such as cyberbullying, inappropriate content, and online predators and promote healthy device usage habits. An example of these parental control apps is Bark which is one of the most popular services in the market right now. So how does Bark actually work? Well, parents first need to create an account and install the app on their child's device. Once installed, Bark begins monitoring the child's activity across a wide range of social media platforms, messaging apps, and other online services. This includes monitoring text messages, emails, photos, videos, and other content. Bark uses advanced algorithms to analyze a child's activity and flag any potential risks, such as cyberbullying, violence, or inappropriate content. When Bark detects a potential risk, it sends an alert to the parent's device, notifying them of the issue and providing suggestions on how to address it. And with Bark, you can also see a lot of data and information about your child's device and online activities on your dashboard, like who they're contacting the most, what apps they're using the most, as well as what type of content the app was monitoring and how much did it cover. Now, one thing that sets it apart from other parental control apps is that it encourages trust and privacy between you and your kids instead of spying. Bark will not allow you to view all of your child's communications in real time, which can be good if you want to give your child as much privacy as possible while ensuring they're safe. It would only alert you on possible threats and send you a snippet of the encounter, which makes it easier to have conversations about them with your children. Not only is Bark able to monitor internet usage across different apps, but it can also block and filter internet access. It has a powerful web filter that allows you to choose which sites your child is able to access and which ones to block. And on top of that, Bark also allows you to manage your kid's screen time. You can set which apps are allowed to be used in a specific time period, and there's even an option to completely pause the internet access if you want them to have a little breather from social media. Now, another thing that Bark excels at compared to its competitors, it's its coverage. It can monitor over 30 plus apps like WhatsApp, Snapchat, Instagram, and Discord. It can even monitor apps like Spotify and give you alerts when your children are listening to explicit or violent content and even gets you the lyrics of these songs for you to check out. And unlike other parental apps that allow a certain number of devices and force you to pay for more, Bark allows unlimited devices under the same subscription. And when it comes to these devices, it works on a large number of operating systems like Android, iOS, and Chromebooks. It even has a browser extension for Google Chrome and Edge. Now, when it comes to iOS, instead of sending you live updates in real time, Bark sends you these updates each time it's connected to the same network as a desktop device with the Bark for Parents app installed and running. And this is due to iOS's extremely restrictive privacy settings. Another feature that Bark has is a live check in request. If your children are going out and you'd like to know where they are at any given time, you can request a check-in on their device. They'll hit a button and you'll know exactly where they are. Now, this is not as helpful as other live tracking features that other parental apps have since you need to request the update from your child first. But this goes back to the nature of Bark as it supports child privacy instead of spying on them. Now, what can Bark detect? That actually goes back to how much you want the app to monitor. 
What's great about Bark is that it allows you to adjust the sensitivity of its detection in the settings by letting you turn alerts on or off for each category of potential issues and for each child. This lets you give leniency to older or more mature children to browse freely when it comes to certain things like profanity without receiving alerts while ensuring you're still notified each time a younger child encounters a potential issue. And a few things that Bark flags as concerning behavior are related to anxiety, depression, self-harm, suicide content, drugs, slash alcohol abuse, dangerous organizations, and much more. Moving on to ease of use. Bark's applications are very user-friendly and intuitive, but they're all function differently. If you want to use the app on an Android device, you'll need to download the app from the official website since it's not available in the Play Store. And when it comes to the desktop version, it's only useful to monitor and backup iOS devices and does not monitor what is happening on your PC. But you can still use the browser extensions to keep track of what they're browsing on their computer. Now when it comes to phones and tablets, Bark has two mobile apps available for Android and iOS devices, one for parents and the other for the child's device. But it would be nice to see Bark build a single app that works for both purposes. As for pricing, Bark costs a maximum of $14.99 a month. If you don't need access to Bark's full monitoring power, you can choose the $5.99 a month option, Bark Jr. And paying for an entire year upfront saves you a bit of money in the long run since Bark Premium costs about $100 a year and Bark Jr. costs around $50 a year. You automatically get a 7 day trial period to take Bark for a spin, but you do have to put in your payment information first. Now their price might be higher than other parental control apps, but their yearly subscription is almost always cheaper than other subscriptions and at the same time, you'll be getting a much better and less intrusive service. And finally, when it comes to customer support, they provide email support, a great chatbot, video guides, and 100 plus FAQ articles. Their email support is extremely professional, knowledgeable, and responsive, with replies taking between one to three hours according to my experience. Not only that, they have a huge FAQ page that answers a lot of questions and gives you insight on things that you didn't even know existed. And on top of that, their chatbot provides thoroughly written auto responses and links to FAQ articles for additional information. With that being said, it would be better to have a live chat option added to the mix for faster communication. So overall, Bark is the best choice for parents who want to keep an eye on what their tweens and teens are up to online without being too intrusive. It's able to monitor over 30 social media apps, which is more than any other service on the market and it will only alert parents if it finds something worth mentioning. This way, parents can have their peace of mind knowing their kids are safe while still giving them some privacy. Plus, Bark is designed to encounter healthy communication within families, which is always a good thing. And if you have multiple kids, Bark is especially convenient because it allows you to monitor several devices at once. And that's it for this video. Again, if you'd like to check out Bark for yourself, you'll find the useful link and discounts in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys. And to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.